Hi friends, Zoe here. So since you guys seem to love my last What I Ate in a Day video, I decided to make one more for you. So I'm starting my day off with one liter of water as per usual before breakfast. I then decided to prepare another bowl of muesli with chopped up ripe bananas. So as you guys might notice, I like to chop out the bananas quite small so I get a little bit of banana in each bite. I then topped this with Vita Soya soy milk and it was absolutely delicious and a great way to start your day with that natural fruit sugar and fiber and a bunch of carbs because let's face it, we all need the fuel and this dish is absolutely delicious. So next, I wanted to share with you guys, I've been experimenting with the Italian coffee. So I've been making myself an espresso each morning for the past couple days in this percolator. So I've never used a percolator before, but it actually is quite easy. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of the process and in case you're interested in how it works or if you'd like one yourself. So you fill the bottom up with filtered water and then that puck there to the left, you're going to fill that up with just some espresso grounds and you're going to place it inside and screw that top on just like that and you're going to place it onto the stove on hot because you really want the water in the bottom to boil or percolate. So it only takes a few minutes for this to become ready and the results are absolutely amazing. You can then pour it into your little tiny espresso cup and of course Classic Zoe spilt that for you guys. But then I tidied it up and I placed a little spoon there just to add the whole effect. And I enjoyed this outside on the balcony with my new book, which I am really excited to share with you guys in my September favorites because I'm really enjoying it. It's Eat, Pray, Love, Made Me Do It. So this is a collection of essays and memoirs of women in the world and men who have really changed their lives because of Liz Gilbert's Eat, Pray, Love. And the view is absolutely amazing today. Even though it was a little bit drizzly outside, it was still great. As a snack today, I enjoyed an apple, and this is a Granny Smith apple that I actually got from Kilometer Zero. So this is right from a farm. We actually went to the farm and got this ourselves, and I cut it up just like these little apple nachos, I like to call them, because they're fun to snack on throughout the day. And green apples are that soury sweet, and yeah, just super satisfying lunch today I enjoyed a bowl of basmati rice which I covered with these black beans that my Italian mom prepared for me she'd been baking these over the stove for a couple of days and they're so delicious there's garlic in there and peppers pureed I topped this with some greens and also some chopped Roma tomatoes for some added flavor as I mentioned to you guys in my previous video, the tomatoes here are absolutely amazing. The flavor is like nothing else. And this bowl was absolutely nutritious and delicious. I really enjoyed it. As another snack today, I also enjoyed this delicious peach, which we got from Kilometer Zero as well. I then had a couple pieces of a ripe banana. Okay guys, now on to dinner and this is what I'm so excited to tell you about. So for dinner this evening we had arepas and I stuffed mine with some delicious black beans and a mixture of tomatoes and peppers sauteed. And they are absolutely delicious. Let me know below if you've ever tried arepas because they are now one of my favorites. See you guys in my next video.